In Canada, we know beavers as the cute rodent on the nickel that chops down trees and builds dams. They help keep our ecosystems healthy by creating wetland habitats for other species, increasing biodiversity, improving water quality, and many other things. While they might be an important part of our Canadian ecosystems, it is a very different story in South America. 76 years ago, the Argentinian government thought it would be a good idea to introduce beavers into their ecosystem. So they took 50 beavers from Canada and set them free in Tierra del Fuego. They did this with the intention of enriching the native fauna and the local fur industry. Oh, how that went poorly. The consequences of such an initiative were disastrous. The beavers grew to approximately 200,000 in population, caused irreversible changes in the forest ecosystem, and started advancing over the continent. You might be wondering, how could the beavers do this? If they're so good for our environment here, why are they destroying South America? Well, it comes down to a few different reasons. In Canada, wolves and bears prey on beavers, so their population is kept in check. Wolves and bears are examples of density-dependent or biotic factors. This causes the beaver population to stay around its carrying capacity. Whereas in South America, there are no natural predators, so the beavers had nothing stopping their population from increasing. This is exponential growth. There are no density-dependent or biotic factors stopping their growth in South America, so their population has continued to increase exponentially. Another reason is that North American trees are different from South American trees. Many North American trees have evolved over millions of years to adapt to the beavers, so when they cut them down, the trees will grow back. That is not the case for South American trees. They do not grow back when they are cut down, so that is why the tree population is getting devastated in South America. This is a terrible situation for the countries of Chile and Argentina, and the only solution is the eradication of beavers. As sad as it sounds, killing thousands and thousands of beavers is the only way for these governments to save their forests from total destruction. If their governments do not intervene, the beaver population would take over South America like the bunnies in the simulation, and their forests would be continued to be destroyed.